Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. Really do appreciate all the support. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And let's talk about General Murdoch. In my overall impressions of the event, at the recording of this video, we do have roughly a day and a half uh, for this video to be done. It, it's a really, really interesting event. The character is really, really interesting. I would like to talk first off about what I thought about the event, and then we'll talk about what I think about the character. And so let's go ahead and get into the event. I'm on the test account right now. Uh, as you guys know, we released a video uh, talking about, I released a video talking about the minimum requirements. Uh, at that particular point, the developers in the game decided that they were going to increase the difficulty of the event. Um, and as we all know, the difficulty was certainly increased. It is a considerably harder. Uh, many many of you have been wondering, hey, have you? did you finish it? Where, where did you go? Well, let's go ahead and go over to my main account here. Uh, I did finish it. I do have General Murdoch now. I have not summoned him yet because I am current. I want to buy the pack. I think the pack that he comes with is very worth it. And so I just have not summoned him because I'm waiting to uh, you know, get paid so I can do that. Uh, very, 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 very good. Um, a lot of people are also probably wondering, hey, where the heck have you been? What's going on? Uh, I haven't got a video in a while. The reason for that is that I went to do some stuff on the test account. Uh, and as you can see, I didn't, I haven't had access until today. So thanks to the developers, they were able to give me my test account access back. Lastly, we are in a new place. Uh, as you can see, we have no video today. I do not have the green screen yet set up. I have moved. My commute is no longer happening. Um, I went to the back doctor. As most of you know, I've been having back issues. Back doctor says there is no issues with my back structurally. Um, and they, they believe that I may have some type of autoimmune disease that is actually causing the pain that I'm in. So we're going to go from there. Uh, but I, you know, change the lifestyle up a little bit. Uh, I am working, of course, still full time, but I am living now in the city that I work in. Uh, and so that is nice. And then going to visit family on the weekends which means most of the time you're going to have videos coming out during the week and not during the weekend when I'm doing my family time. So with all that being said, General Murdoch is a pretty awesome character. Got a lot of things going for him. Uh, but first, before we go on to that, let's talk about the event. Uh, as you probably know, the end event here. This is the end event. As you can see, I was working on the Shadar, um, you know, and that sort of thing. I did complete the event without without Slinger. With Slinger, it kind of helps. Uh, but in at the end of the day, uh, the team that I ended up having to go in with was this one. And let's go ahead and go over to my main account. Let's pull up my demons. And this was, and I barely did this. I got lucky. I had an 80. I had a Kara at 80, uh, at 80, level 80, six across the board. Purple mods, three dot mods, right? Um, you know, 300, 30, 3,700 damage, 169 speed. Uh, my Venomate was at gear 10, you know, a lot of potency and some damage, six across the board and at level 76. Uh, Xantara here is level nine, gear level nine. I could have finished her off, but I didn't have to. A lot of, but you know, 3,000 magic damage, six across the board. Uh, and then Punch Your Face. Uh, once again, it was not six across the board. I almost thought I had to. I did take him to gear 10. Um, and then Mega Wheel. I got him at gear nine. I only had six here on his hit me ability, which really did help. Um, and I sped him up because uh, I needed him to be faster. The more turns he actually took, the more often, the, you know, the more times he taunted, the more health he was gaining back. Um, and Xantar, for the most part, just isn't the, you know, she's a good, good healer, but her magic damage is just low compared to other healers. When you're saying you're looking at, um, you know, your order, if you're looking at a Soleus, right? And Soleus is magic damage 3148 and that's with speed mods right and, and that's how i have him set up with speed right i mean he's got more he's got more than she does and she's got uh you know you know um damage mods but i mean that's she is gear nine she gets more later and so that sort of thing so what did I think of the event overall of uh, the change of the event? I actually was quite disappointed uh, with the change to the event. I thought adding Kelrian um, to the end here is 
really just not necessary. Certainly upping their skills and that sort of stuff, but adding Kelrian made it overly difficult and very, very RNG dependent. And because it was so RNG dependent, you ended up with just a lot of a lot of just what are you doing? Oh, you're whacking away, whacking away. You're trying to set things up perfectly and you may end up just not getting it simply because you get unlucky. Um, and that's, I don't think that's the right way to go. Um, as you can see, this is kind of my general strategy for the event with the three here. I want to go ahead and um, reduce, I would go ahead and reduce, uh, go after one of the failures right away. Um, and then, and then taunt and it's this turn here as you can see and then just kind of whacked away on her they will send gels will heal her up and that sort of thing but it it was okay because we ended up usually getting enough damage to kill her right away um, and then the send gels are also hurt and so we have here and then we can heal um, and then just kind of using AOEs when you could, and that sort of thing was really, really nice. Uh, punch your face really, really helped. So as you can see, I'm doing a run right now, just, just live for you guys, just kind of see how it is. But the, what you really got to do is you got to set this up for your final phase. And the way to set it up is you got to have exactly the right amount of oomph, right? And you just may not get there. Even right now, you're kind of seeing it where I've got to set everything up just right so I don't have you know I don't have uh, Venomy getting killed right away uh, and then I got to be able to have his poison available I have to be able to have her ability to go down uh, you know to to invis um, and then I've got to have him basically to full health just to get just just for the opportunity to get lucky with where I'm at of course if, if you have them all at level 80 yeah, um, no big deal, right? At level 80, gear 11, you're gonna walk through the event. But as you can see here, this is kind of where you were going. What I ended up doing is actually targeting major shot. Um, all right, so I would invis here, attack major shot immediately, taunt, have full health, and then use this ability to get back all my health. All right, go in and poison, and then attack major shot again. Um, and then here, you could use. I usually would go ahead and just attack him again. You want to hold off on using your main your 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 ability here, Hail of Arrows, all right. And so you ability ability blocked him and got lucky there. And so they're gonna all attack here. And what you're hoping for is as soon as uh, Venomate goes, right, he's going to be able to. You want to drop your AOE. right? You're gonna give this over to Kara, and then Kara is gonna be able to hit, and then you've killed. You killed him. Very, very, very important to do. And then you just go after Kelrian. All right. But I'm going to have to get lucky here. He cheated death, but he's dead. And I'm going to lose. I mean, this is now a losing battle because I needed him to survive. They'll start one-shotting everyone, as you can see. And so it's so RNG dependent. You Once you have Punch Your Face out, they'll just start killing everybody off. It doesn't matter if you attack Wonder Lula now, right? She's just going, she can die. But it, this is kind of my, this is the issue. Like I beat it with this team, but I only beat it with this team because somewhere along the lines, I got lucky. Somewhere along the lines, it, you know, I I, I got lucky. That, that was really what it was. Um, and I think that it was important that it needed to be hard. I just think adding Kelrian made it just too hard. Um, you basically had to invest a lot into the characters. And I understand why they did that. I just think that uh, it was a little disappointing that it had to be as hard as it was. And I know there's a lot of people who haven't gotten them and that sort of thing. Now, here's the thing, though. And here's the positive part of it. If you didn't get him, here's my main account. All right, I've got General Murdoch, but look at the rest of my rest of my uh, goblins. I just don't have any. Um, Vanessa is not out yet. We have Gorum coming here soon. All right, I'm working on Amara. I'm working on Sergeant Pigwell. Oh, Lord's not particularly good. Adam, right? And so we know these two here are going to have synergy, right? Major shot, you know, pretty cool that he has this blind ability. All right, so I'm working on them now, but it... You know, at what point do we want to decide, you know, goblins are going to be viable? I'm not sure they are until they have a healer as a faction. Um, I know that there are plenty of people in the community who are going to disagree with me on that. But 
if you're one of these, if you're somebody who didn't get him this time around or you're pushing for him, keep pushing. I mean, keep going. I mean, it can be done with what I, what I showed. Um, it may even be able to be done with less, but it, you know, it took, as you guys watch my stream, it took hours for me just to fail. And then I ended up getting it just randomly while I was sitting in a doctor's office. Um, and so I wasn't able to get it recorded. So, but let's talk General Murdoch, right? So that's General Murdoch in my account here. Let's go over to my free to play, uh, the free to play test account, which as you can see, I don't have many people unlocked here. I've only unlocked certain characters uh, for certain things and we'll have some new videos coming on that. But let's talk about General Murdoch and I actually don't wanna go on the free to play. I want to go here to heroes and go over to the whale account for test account purposes and look at General Murdoch. Let's look at his first ability. General Murdoch is a goblin, a tactician, a rogue, a traveler, and a leader, right? Tactician, rogue, and traveler, not bad. And great tags here. Let's look at his first ability. Snare deals 260% of physical damage to an enemy, inflicts a damage decrease for two turns. So now we have him and, you know, Phalia that can do damage uh, decreases, which is really, really nice. Uh, let's look at his second ability. All right, it's got a cooldown of one. Um, it deals 400 physical damage to an enemy. If the target is affected by slow, decrease their turn meter by 50%. If the target is affected by damage, decrease, summon a random ally for help. So you're gonna get some, you're gonna get some extra uh, synergy there. You're gonna get an ally to come and help. It doesn't say goblin, right? So this makes him very much a plug and play character that you can come in and somebody else will be able to attack. That's super, super cool. Um, slow bombing, right? Cool down of two, two of four here. Um, all right, and so you'll be able to do this on your third turn. Uh, deals 250% damage to all enemies and a 70% chance to inflict slow for two turns. All right, and then it's got a four down, you know, two cool down of uh, two, four. Uh, and so that's really, really nice to be able to go in there. And then we want to look at his passive ability. General Murdoch skills gain 30% more potency against members of the order and 30% additional potency against elves. Really, really cool. I can see, you know, putting him up with, you know, a phase one team. Yeah, you know, uh, the phase one team for Soleus, that could be work really, really well, or he's getting a, a lot of different potency and he's getting a lot of different things against the order on that. Um, and of course, you know, being able, if he's got the slow, he's going to be reduced 50% turn meter, which is going to be really, really nice. You know, pair him up with, you know, either, you know, it, you're gonna have to put him, put a lot of potency on him, but you don't need as much potency for him as you would against others, um, right, at that 78% mark because he gets an additional 33, uh, 30%. So that could be a really viable option. Let's look at his leadership. All goblins uh, boost their turn meter by 20% and have 50% chance to summon a random goblin to help when dealing a critical hit. Uh, can be triggered only once per turn. So it's pretty awesome. They're going to be able to get a lot of synergy and that sort of thing. I, On paper, he looks like he's going to be a great character. He's got a lot of great goblin synergy on his lead, but his other four abilities, he can be plugged and played. Just based on being on paper, he looks like he's going to be a tier one character in my book. So that's kind of where we're at. I really do appreciate you guys and all the things that you do, um, all the support. Come to the Discord channel, links down below. Uh, you know, come talk to me, send me Discord and things. It's really, really great. Uh, I am looking forward to checking out this character on my main account. Uh, we'll do some more testing. I'll do some testing on him, try to put some theory crafting teams together. I do think he's going to be interesting for the first uh, part of the raid. And so I'll rune him up. If we're talking about ruining him, I I think that probably you're looking at you you can go one or two ways i think damage is certainly nice right he's got a good bit of base physical base damage speed is really good you can go full speed mods and go that way but i think that you'll probably be missing out he can do a lot of damage and he's got needs a lot of he needs some potency uh and i think that you know damage set and potency is probably the way to go certainly potency in the northwest rune speed and then damage uh that way uh, damage and potency or possibly two potency sets um, and then critical critical chance sets because that'll help him as well I mean there's a couple of different ways I think you can ruin him um, 
and, and make him really viable, uh, especially when you're looking at, you know, his overall potency because it is, you know, because it's, you know, 26 percent. You're, you know, with that extra, and then you get the extra 30, right? He's already at 50, 50, you know, it's already at 56 percent. So really, really cool. What do you guys think? Uh, are you guys leveling up Murdoch right now? Do you have goblins? Are you running with them? I am going to be doing, like I said, some testing to see how they do um, as a faction. Uh, and I'll be looking at that. If you have any questions for me, hit them, drop them in the comments below. I do really do, once again, appreciate you guys. If you are new around here, hit that like button. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.